Hello students, welcome to RDBMS online classes. In this today's session, we will learn about the sequences concept. SQL sequences concept we will learn. Now let us start our session. Okay. Explain sequences in SQL queries. Sequence is a set of integers. Sequence is a sequence is a set of integers. Nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that. That are generated and supported by some database systems to produce unique values on demand. To produce unique values on demand. Okay. Sequence is nothing but it is a set of integers. Set of integers. For example, in our table, for example, in our table, carefully observe here, here one table we have. This is our database table. Just assume this is our database table. ID, name, ID, name, class. Okay. These three are columns. These three are our database tables. So in this ID, for example, this is uh, employee table. This is employee table. In this employee table, EID we need to create now. EID is also required, employee ID. So instead of entering manual insertion by using insert command, instead of entering that 101, 102, 103, uh, these are sequence numbers na 101, 102, 103. So instead of entering by the programmer, the sequence will create. Once you create the sequence and assign with this table, automatically that sequence numbers will generate for us. The sequence numbers will generate for us in our table. So how we can create? What is the use of sequences? Then let us understand. Sequence is a set of integers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on that are generated and supported by some database systems to produce unique values on demand. To produce unique values on demand. If you, I mean nothing but if you create the sequence, it will generate the sequence of numbers. That to unique values it will generate. A repeated numbers it will not create for us. Okay. It will, the repeated numbers it will not create but if you want to create a repeated numbers also if you want to create a repeated number also that is also have possibility by using sequences one option cycle option so now, now let us understand first about the definition of sequences sequence is a set of integers one two three and so on that are generated and supported by some database systems to produce unique values on demand. Now, a sequence is a user defined schema bound. A sequence is a user defined schema bound object that generates a sequence of numeric values. A sequence can generate a numeric values. Sequences are frequently used in many databases. Sequences are frequently used in many databases. Because many applications require each row in a table to contain a unique value and sequences provide an easy way to generate them. Instead of manually enter by the programmer, instead of entering manually by the programmer, the sequences are automatically generated in that required column. If you assign, if you create the sequence and assign to that insertion table and then automatically it will that the random numbers, the sequence of numbers it will generate for us. In our table, the sequence of numeric values is generated in an ascending or descending order also at definite intervals and can be configured to restart when exceeds the, when exceeds the max value. Nothing but the sequence of numbers it will generate 1, 2, 3 now. If you have restricted up to 104, then the cycle will again restart 
For example, if you create the sequence 1012, 104 only. So after 104 is over, the sequence will terminate now. No, that is also in our hands. The sequence will continue. Not when, when it, I mean, up to 104 you have created, the restriction you have given. So the 104 record is over now here. Again, 101, 102, that cycle it will repeat like that. Okay. So that is sequence functionality. How we can create the sequence? By using this syntax. Create sequence, sequence name. Create sequence, sequence name. How we can create that one? Carefully observe. Now I am opening SQL plus. Okay. Now I am connecting. Okay. For your visible purpose, visibility purpose, now I am increasing the font size. Yes. So now I am connecting with the database. System admin. Yeah, successfully we have connected. How to create the sequence? If you want to create the table, create table, table name syntax we can use. If you want to create the view, create view, view name. We can create, we can use. So like that, if you want to create the sequence, we can use the create sequence, sequence name. Sequence name is nothing but SEQ1, okay? Sequence 1. This is my name, okay? Create sequence, sequence name. And next line is what? Start with initial value. Start with initial value. Start with initial value is what? Our ID number is what here? 101. Na? So initial value. Now I am assigning 101. Okay, like that. Initial value is nothing but starting value. Start with initial value. Increment by how much number? So 101. Next value is what? 102. Na? Nothing but Increment by 10. Increment by 1. Increment by 1. So the next level 101 plus 1. 102 it will generate next 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 iteration. Okay? 101, 102, 103, like that. So the next line is what? Increment by incremented value. If you give the number 2 here. 10, after 101, 103 value it will generate. After that 105 it will generate. Like that. So that's why. That's why. And next one. Min value, max value. Min value is 1. It is a least value. Min value is 1. Max value is limit. Uh, 101, 102, 103, 104 now. So like that. 104 is my limit. Okay. Min value. Sorry. 104. Last one is what? Cycle, no cycle. So here what I told you. After 101, my restriction is 101 to 104. Again, 104 completed now. Again, if you want to repeat this cycle, you can use the cycle. If you don't want to repeat that cycle, if you don't want to repeat that cycle, then no cycle you can mention. Okay. So here, no cycle I mentioned. No cycle. Because of, I don't want to repeat this one. At end of the query, semicolon required. So then create sequence creation syntax is over. Now I am pressing enter key. So min value is 101. That is wrong because of here starting value 101 na, min value is also 101 here. Okay. So again I am writing same one. Create sequence sequence 1. Start with 101. Increment by 101. Min value 101. Max value. Max value 104. Cycle or no cycle. So carefully observe min value 101. Why it is showing error? SQL command not properly ended. Where min value? Min value. 
what is the problem here yeah wait 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 here i have given spaces so that is the problem the syntax is wrong first in start, i mean create sequence sequence name and start with 101 increment by 1 and min value here remove this space min value is the single word min value is the single word max value here also remove this space next no cycle ok sequence created carefully observe here sequence created so same words you can use don't confuse don't give any unnecessary spaces also command is nothing but command so command have the functionality so don't split any words between the spaces I mean, between the words don't give any unnecessary spaces so sequence we have created now where we have to use the sequence while inserting the data while inserting the data so now i am creating one table create table t10 is my table okay uh, id number 3 id number 3 and uh, name varchar 2 20 sorry 10 okay so table created t10 table is also created so that's why it is showing error now i am renaming this one t11 t11 is also created and t12 we have to create yeah table created t12 is available so t12 table created with the id and name attributes now i am inserting the data insert into t12 values open bracket so here the sequence we have created now here we can use the sequence in id place in this id place here we can use the sequence how we can use the sequence carefully observe sequence name is what sequence one seq1 seq1 dot next val nothing but next value so it will generate the values sequence it will generate now x is name first record created second record y third record z fourth record a fifth record why it is showing error for the fifth record because of while creating the sequence how many records we have mentioned 101 to 104 only 104 but you are inserting fifth record 101 to 104 how many values we have chinna 101 102 103 104 only four values the restriction we have given with the sequence while creating the sequence we have restricted that numbers right so after 104 if you want to try, if you want to try to insert one more value the sequence will throw the error like this okay the sequence will throw the error like this so if you want to increase that value instead of 104 if you want to add two more values 105 106 by using alter command you can change that sequence also you can change that sequence structure got it by using alter command so that is the importance of sequence now we can see that data select star from t12 the numbers are generated or not how you can check sequence is sequence 1 is generated or not 101 102 103 104 so like that this type of sequence this type of sequence we can create by using sequence creation and also 
assigning with the insert command instead of entering manual records manual id values so unique values it has generated na 101 102 103 104 so that is the most important concept in sql the sequence is very 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 important concept now sequence concept is also over what is index in sql next concept is index indexes are used to retrieve the data from the database more quickly more quickly if you have not created any index the data is selecting while using the select operation to see the table 12 data select a star from t12 it is first interacting with the table name after that interacting with the data is that valid is properly or not all those operations are over then only this output will give for us this output will give for us in between the select command before communicating with t12 before some credentials also required the data metadata first it will check and data dictionary is also it will check and what are the properties we have it will check the table data is already available or not first it will check so these many operations are happened behind so that's why so here we have only four records so that's why the output we are getting very very fastly but if you have one crore records one crore records if you want to fetch the data if you want to retrieve the data from table without the creation any indexes then it will take more time the user will not satisfy while getting the output with it very late time while getting the output with very late time so that's why indexes are indexes are introduced to avoid that late response to avoid that late response indexes are introduced by the programmers database programmers so now indexes are use it to retrieve data from the database more quickly more quickly nothing but it will get the output the index if you create the index with the help of index automatically we will get the data very fastly the users cannot see the indexes actually after creation of index the users can't see that one they are just used to speed up searches automatically when they want when they use it to search any record in that then the data will retrieve very fastly because of the database developer already created the index and assigned with that right that's why indexes are used to retrieve the data very fastly from the database instead of using without create without creation of indexes your data will lately come to the response lately give the response as output format in sql an index is created on the fields of the tables the index is created on the fields of tables nothing but table contain attributes now here i am i am showing one example try to understand e id e name class these three are attributes nothing but table fields table fields we can create an index on these fields only on these fields only we can easily build we can easily build one or more indexes on a table one or more indexes on a table the creation and deletion of index do not affect the data of databases if you create the index on these columns the inside data table records of data it will not reflect it will not change it will not affect so if you add the index then the data will reflect that one if you have not anything the data will not change okay data is always data data will represent on the table so indexes are will not give any effect bad effect to the table data if you have if you want to create then create if you don't want to create then leave then data will not data will not have any problem for that each index table each index table contains only two columns if you create that index on any table it will store the data like this 
the first column is row id the index can store row id and indexed column indexed column nothing but if you create the index on e id so this row id first it will store in that index and this column name the indexed column it will store got it if you create the index on this column only then the data will come fast from this table from this column only not these two columns if you create here also for these two columns also if you create the index on these two columns also the data will comes very fastly from entire table okay how to create the index if you want to create an index on a combination of columns you can list the column names within the parentheses separated by commas so here how many columns we have in this table three columns we have so if you want to create indexes on all columns just simply we can use the parentheses brackets nothing but functional brackets here column names we can use so one column to another column is simply use the comma operator okay this is our index creation syntax create index index name if you want to create the table create table table name if you want to create a view create view view name if you want to create the sequence create sequence sequence name okay write that now i am creating one index on t12 table okay create index index name is what t12 underscore index index on which table on which table t1 table on which table is t t12 table sorry t12 on t12 table two columns we have for these two columns i am assigning the index name bracket close semicolon enter then index created carefully observe index created or not right index created so if you create the index automatically the data will come very fast select star from t12 very fast it will come okay but here we have only four records so that's why it is giving same response if you have one crore records then it will go very fast response for us so if you want to drop the index draw index index name t12 and t12 underscore index so index dropped nothing but index deleted so this is the process for creating the index for de deleting the index next one what is synonyms in sql what is synonym in sql explain with an example a synonym is an is an alternative name for objects alternative name for objects here that uh, database objects are what such as tables views sequences stored procedures and other database objects don't confuse what is stored procedures here that is also one of the concept in sql but according to our syllabus we don't have that one but try to accept at this time okay this is also one of the database object you generally use synonyms when you are granting access to an object so if you want to give if you want to grant any permission on any table for that we can use the synonyms from the another schema schema is nothing but here one user here one user carefully observe now i am drawing one image then you can understand about this one this is one user the user name is what by default we are using system na that is one of the user and my user is also i am creating this is my own user so here i have created one one user like a system so this is one database this is one of the database okay system database contain our employee table system database contain 
employee table emp table or student table okay emp table or student table so now i want to share these two tables to this one nothing but the system is granting permission for these two tables for the siva user to share to the siva user got it siva database from one schema here system is one schema siva is one schema system is one schema siva is one schema so synonym is an alternative name for objects such as tables views sequences stored procedures and other database objects you generally use sequence synonyms when you are granting access to an object from another schema another schema nothing but a dummy name we can assign while while sharing these two tables yes dummy dummy, dummy name i have created on this table emp table and our student table also so then i can provide to the i can share to the siva user siva database this is one database this is one database this database contain these two tables so from this database now i want to share to this other database i want to share the data this two tables data from this schema to this schema another schema so for that we can use the synonyms how to create the synonym create this is syntax create or replace public synonym synonym name okay so these are credentials for object name this is only syntax here i have given examples create or replace means allows you to create allows you to recreate the synonym without having to issue drop synonym command so nothing but create means it will create the table or replace means it will recreate the table same it will recreate the database object public means if you use the public here that means it means that the synonym is a public synonym and is accessible to all users if you use the public keyword there then this synonym after creation of this synonym you provide to all users public means all na like that if it is private then it is only our personal use local usage restricted persons it can see restricted persons can't see i mean uh, private means our related our information can see by the our related people only public means all users without any credentials without any protection they can see easy our data schema the appropriate schema if this parse is omitted oracle assumes that you are referring to your own schema nothing but one user to another user schema is nothing but one database to another database system is one schema siva is one schema got it object name what are the database objects we have here table view sequence stored procedures functions package materialized view java class schema uh, class schema object user defined object synonym okay these are enough these are object name each and in sql in oracle database or in any other database database related objects are uh, database related objects are tables we use all those things okay how to create the view uh, synonym just i am executing carefully observe create synonym create synonym sorry create public synonym i create so that's why public i am using public public synonym here a is also not there synonym next now i am creating my name create public synonym synonym name we have to mention na s y n 1 okay s y n 1 synonym on i mean for which for 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 
for system system is schema system is schema system dot t12 table na t12 table for t12 table i am giving the i am creating the synonym so synonym created na so like that we can create now i can share this name to the other other users other users except system because of here system in this system table in this system database t12 table is available now this t12 table now i want to share to some other database user some other database user so system is one user cy is one more user so now i want to share this syn name to that person okay that person carefully observe by using synonym name also we can see the data right so that is the use of synonym synonym in is nothing but it is a alias name it is a alias name for example at our home we have some other pet names na pet names i mean krishna having kid to uh, pandu have i mean uh, pankaj having pandu like that so these are the pet names so synonyms concept is also open in this today's session i hope you enjoyed this one in the next class we will learn a new concept now today i am going to ending this session thank you thank you very much